private jets, big houses, and the most beautiful land in the world. Her name, Rain Hirsch. With over 20 years experience in high-end markets, Rain knows luxury. Her mission, to find the most luxurious, the most palatial, and the most, well, ridiculous ranch estates on the market. As a buyer's agent for the world's richest equestrians, Rain must find the best. And even though money doesn't matter, the pursuit of perfection doesn't always go as planned. <laughs> they are extraordinary. They are extravagant. They are ridiculous ranches. Last time on Ridiculous Ranches, Rain received surprising news. Okay. Sure, no, I, I completely understand if that's what we need to do. Rain's client catches wind of an amazing property hot on the market. Rain is off to her next mission. Boys, we need to reroute. Fort Worth, Texas, also known as Cowtown, Fort Worth is where the West begins. One of Fort Worth's biggest claims to fame is the National Cutting Horse Association World Championship Futurity. Born out of the old days of ranching, cutting was used to separate cattle. Today, it is an exciting adrenaline-fueled sport like none other in rodeo. Rain's destination? GHC Land and Cattle. Reminiscent of old Mexico, this massive 618-acre ranch unites resort atmosphere with working cattle and horse training facilities. This could be the perfect corporate retreat for Rain's client. When I was flying in over the property and I got my first glimpse, I realized this is Texas huge. And I just kept thinking to myself, where does it end? There was lots and lots of space for even more horses, more cattle, or even more property, more buildings than that were already in place. All right, welcome to the GCH Land and Cattle. McAllen Colson, a true Texas cowboy, grew up in the ranching and horse industry. For the past 23 years, McAllen has specialized in selling high-end ranch and farm properties to Texas cowboy elite. Rain, I wanna have Sonny show you some of the houses and the structures, and then Chris will show you around on the property. Great. Hi. Hi. Nice Rain, to meet you. nice to meet you. Chris Bates. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Can I take your hat for you? And yes, please. Put in safekeeping. Thank you. Be careful with it. It's a mink. Will do. You guys have a good afternoon. We'll meet up later. Okay. Adios. Bye. You ready to go? Are you ready? Yes. Let's okay. do this. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Bye. This is probably the biggest property we've been to yet. 618, that's 618 acres. What great doors. I love the heavy wood and the straps and these hammered nail heads and this handle in itself. I mean, where do you find doors like these? You don't. They were custom made for the property. Well, of course they were. And this is a great area out here. I mean, it's big, expansive. It makes a statement when you walk through those big statement doors. And it leads us right up to the main house. This is where the owner and his family come. Oh, this is nice. It's kind of their private getaway when they have all the guests and company here. I like the stone for the fireplace. What does GCH stand for? Grinders Clearing House. Oh. The owner owns a company in Michigan, and this is the name of it. The cutouts for the horses, that's a nice touch. Yes, you'll see them all over the ranch. I especially like the really high ceilings. Um, you don't feel so kind of closed in, and especially when you have dark wood, because the dark wood can tend to make something feel kind of cave-like, and this is not like that at all. Nice windows. The owner has put his personal touches on everything. The pillows, our neighbor, Tona Blake, she hand makes all of these. Oh, wow. Oh, and I see you've got a lot of family pictures. Family's very important. Those are his parents and his wife and his son. My boss is Italian, so food and family are very important to him. And you'll notice that there's a full-on kitchen in every apartment here. This is one of 14 kitchens, kitchens on the property. <laughs> 14? <laughs> they do like to cook, don't yes. they? Yes. I love that. These chairs. I noticed walking in, you have cowhide back chairs. Yes. They, he really did keep with the Texas kind of Western theme. Yeah, Southwest and Texas are all over the place. I see that. For a getaway suite, this really has a Texas size kitchen. Somebody could be in here cooking and you could still have conversation with somebody in the living room, somebody sitting at the dining room. You have that family feel still. Actually, all of the kitchens on the property have that same feel. Well, that's perfect. I mean, because the dining room is very nice too with all the windows. It 
again, it feels very open and bright. And the chandelier is a very nice touch to it. And the bowl that's on the table with the carved horses, that's the coolest thing ever. Well, you said that he had an office. This is an office. This looks bigger than like many people's apartments or the executive suites in a lot of office buildings. Yeah, lots of space. And all of these belt buckles. Yes, Joe is obviously into cutting. He's won several belt buckles and trophies, as you can see from all the pictures on the walls. Well, this seems to be quite the hobby he has. And look at this. You've got an executive's office and an executive Monopoly board. Yes, Joe's not only competitive in cutting and Monopoly, he's also a competitive hunter. Just ask the beaver. Beaver zero, owner one. Should my client decide that he's tired of relaxing or needs to step away to do a little bit of business, he's got an office bigger than most people's houses. <laughs> I think I just heard Chris pull up and he's gonna give you a tour of the rest of the ranch, so let's head out. Okay. Coming up on Ridiculous Ranches, a tour of the property, and Chris has a surprise for Rain that sends her on a wild ride. You're gonna try to throw me off this horse.